today when it comes to tvOS 18.2 I'll be happy to let you know that we have a new update that's available it's not the official release yet as this is the new RC version number two that has just been released and so if I go to my software update page and check for an update you can see the build that I'm currently on is 22k154 but now we have a newly updated build number and you can see tvOS 18.2 with the build number 22k155 and it releases alongside some other software updates that you can see here we have ios 18.2 rc number two as well we also have ipad os 18.2 rc2 we have mac os 18.2 rc2 and of course this update tv os 18.2 rc and vision os 2.2 rc2 and unfortunately or fortunately rather there is no watch OS 11.2 rc2 this just goes to mean that maybe the watch OS version the rc1 with this build number is more stable compared to these other versions that apple saw a reason to release a release candidate version number two for because it's not something that's common it does happen but usually there's a reason why apple releases like ios 18.2 rc version number two after having released a release candidate number one because basically the purpose of a release candidate is to make it a candidate for the official release and a release candidate such as tvOS 18.2 RC1 which I already covered like four days ago is a potential candidate for an official release unless if Apple sees something fit with the previous build number on the RC1 then they will release an RC2 to try and patch whatever issue or vulnerability there is and they will release like an update as you can see here we have RC2 now I'm quickly going to begin downloading this update and then we're gonna see some of the changes that this update has to offer the downloading process actually took very little time this just goes to mean that this update has very little or is in small size I wish there was a way for me to be able to see the actual downloaded file size on tvOS but other than that you can see here it's preparing and I wish there would also be a section that would show us how much the tvOS or system storage is taking up in order to perform background task and functionalities but we'll just quickly finish downloading this software update and then we'll see the new build number just like that my device is now up to date and now if we go into our settings and go all the way down to system and go to where it says software update and check for an update you can see your Apple TV is up to date that's what it says and you can see the newly updated build number on tvOS 18.2 RC2 it's 22k 155 now in terms of what's new or what this software update has to offer there actually isn't a lot this is more of a complimentary update and is there to just resolve some issues that might be present with tvOS 18.2 the RC1 and so if we go to the release notes right here on the tvOS 18.2 RC2 you can see Apple just mentions Swift UI that it has a resolved issue and it says compiling the Swift 6 language mod might cause a failure or an error in statistic property and that has been resolved and it has another fix as well that pertains to Swift UI but other than that those are the resolved issues that Apple mentioned. Apple doesn't actually tell us much and it seems to always focus on Swift UI resolved issues or issues pertaining to tvOS. You can see with the previous tvOS 18, the Swift UI 18.1, Swift UI 18.2 RC2, this version, a lot of Swift UI mentions. And when it comes to the actual changes that the Apple TV itself offers, comparing this RC2 version with the previous RC1 not a lot of new features are mentioned or have changed keep in mind that this update is going to be coming out pretty soon how soon we can actually get a quick idea if I was to open up the calendar application right here you can see today being December 9th we were actually anticipating this update to come out today officially to the public but Apple had other plans and now that we have this RC2 version, it's very rare 
I don't think I've ever seen an RC3, but I think it has happened for iOS before where we've seen an RC version number three. But for tvOS, I think this is the final build that's going to be coming out to the public pretty soon. How soon? We could see it as soon as this week. So starting tomorrow, December 10th all the way to December 12th. Those are potential dates for the official release. If we don't see it this week, then there's a high probability that by the 16th, we'll get the update of tvOS 18.2. 18.3 beta one, which will be the first developer beta of that point update, could be released usually between the 17th and the 19th of December. Usually Apple takes the last two weeks of December off. So no updates are expected during the week of the 23rd and during the week of the 30th. And then basically after that, the next update will be coming out on January the 6th or even after like even January 13, it's put, it's possible Apple might skip these two weeks as well as we've seen in the past. So which would mean after getting the first beta of tvOS 18.3 beta one, then this beta two would be coming somewhere in the second or mid January 2020. Five. Now, that's just my quick two cents and update when it comes to tvOS 18.2. Let me know what you think about this video. And if you liked it, definitely leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.